Welcome to another edition of Morning Market Call. I'm your host, Doug Mumford. With me today, Josh James. This is part two of our interview with Josh, founder, co-founder and former CEO of Omniture. Uh, for this segment, we're going to talk about the importance of integrity. And a lot of times in business situations, there's a lot of opportunities to, to not have integrity, to do some things that could be ethically dubious. So, Josh, you have some amazing experiences when you were at Omniture of what integrity ended up meaning. Could you just share a couple of those with us? Sure, I think you know, it's, it's not necessarily the choice between doing something, doing something right and doing something wrong. In many cases, the contract says one thing, but the intentions might have been different, or there might be repercussions that weren't thought of. And so you still need to do the right thing, whether it's in a contract or not. And what's really important about that is just building a relationship with your employees, building a relationship with your partners. If your employees feel like you've got their back, like you're gonna take care of them, then it makes them comfortable trusting you and trusting management. And that reaps huge rewards because if you have happy employees, you're gonna kick some competitors' butt. You kick some competitors' butt, you're gonna make a lot more money. And it's uh, one of the experiences that we had that we, haven't, we didn't really talk about a lot um, because we weren't doing it to talk about, but it's come to, over the years, mean a lot to employees and to potential employees and to other people is uh, in 2000, and, in, 2000 and, in October of 2000, we uh, had something really bad happen to our company. And in December of 2000, about two weeks before Christmas, we had to let go of 48 people. Because if you get 50, you have a force to pay severance, and we couldn't afford to pay severance. So 48 people, two weeks before Christmas, no severance. Horrible, just the worst, worst day ever. And one of the things that we told the employees was, you know, if, if there's ever a chance, we'd love to, we'll try to pay your severance. We, we, we feel horrible, we can't pay you right now, we're trying to save the company, and then everyone will be out of a job, and unfortunately we can't pay you anymore. But if we can, we will. And about uh, five years later, almost five years to the day actually, uh, we were able to get checks out to all those people. And I, interesting, I just, uh, I just started a new company and I was walking around meeting the employees. And one of those employees was one of the guys that got a check five years later. And you know, to see that that, that made a difference to him and, and that he was excited about that and thought more positively about the company and, and just kind of word spreads that you know, people at Omniture and that management team, they do care about people, they take care of, take, take care of people. And you do it because it's the right thing. Um, but there is also a benefit to your company if you treat people fairly. What are you doing now? So everyone's interested to know, you know, you were working at Adobe for a while after the acquisition and now you're doing something new. Do you want to talk a little bit about kind of your visions for the future? Sure, yeah, we haven't, um, you know, we haven't formally launched uh, the company. It's, um, but it has something to do with business intelligence and it's, you know, going to be uh, similar in the sense that it's going to be software as a service. That's a space I know. We started the first software as a service company that's out there. Uh, the second largest software, software as a service company in history at the time when we sold, and going to leverage some of those experiences to do something that, that bothered me as a CEO, that I saw a big problem inside, inside our company, and I wish someone would have fulfilled that need. So we're going to go try and, and fulfill that need, and we'll be making a lot more noise about that in the next month or two. Very exciting stuff. Thanks again for sharing some experiences, the importance of keeping your word, of treating employees the right way, and we're excited to see what happens in your future endeavors. Thank you. Again, Josh James has been our guest. I'm your host, Doug Mumford. Catch us on, on Twitter, on Facebook, and at mmc.byu.edu for further episodes. Join us next time. Peace. Morning Market Call is brought to you by the Marriott School of Management in cooperation with the Brigham Young University Department of Communications. MMC is made possible by generous donations from Larry Tasjan and Gary Williams. This show was produced by Jeff Butler, Janessa Cloward, David Wood, and Doug Mumford, with line producing by Beth Grimmett. For more information, please follow us on Twitter and Facebook.